Hello, what is up everyone? Welcome back, back, back to my channel. Listen, I am super de duper excited today because this is one of my original recipes. Listen, you all do not want to miss this, so stay tuned. Over here I have some ground beef chuck. That's mixed with ground beef and chuck. They didn't have the ground chuck just by itself. That's what I really, really want it because it's more lean, but it's all right. We're going to make this work. All right. So we have it here. I'm just going to cut into it like this just a little bit so that I can um, get the seasonings in there. Okay. Be careful when you're dealing with meat. Okay. Always make sure you wash your hands and everything after touching meat because you don't want to get sick and you don't want to make anyone else sick. All right. Okay, so these are my ghetto gloves right here. These are just sandwich bags. See, I don't have any gloves right now, so these are my these are my ghetto gloves right here. All right, so we're gonna make this work. So I'm gonna put these babies on. My ghetto gloves, ghetto gloves, yes. All right, so let's get started. Okay. I'm not going to put the ghetto gloves on just yet until I start to make. Let me take them off. They're just getting in my way. So how are you all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. All right, so I just poured salt in. <laughs> salt. Listen, you all get on me a lot about using salt. I'm sorry. I just like my food to be seasoned, okay? If you want less salt, put less salt, okay? It depends on your life. It, it, it depends. People say, oh, people who can't cook always say it's according to your taste. That's not true. A real cook does things by eye. You don't have to measure it. You, you can just pretty much eye it and you already know what it is. But it's always to your taste, all right? So I just put in salt. I'm going to put in accent. Like I always tell you, accent really does wake up the full flavor. It really does. Okay, so where's my black pepper? Okay, and so also I have some um, uh, total seasoning here. And I'm going to pour some of that in. Then I have some, uh, oh, where's my? Okay, then I have 14 spices here. A little bit of everything, all purpose seasoning that I'm gonna pour in here. I'm telling you, these meatballs right here, you have never tasted anything like this. You are definitely go going to want to add this to your, um, to your, to your menu. Uh, for your family, for friends, you know, you may be having a, 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 a gathering. This is sure to be a, a crowd pleaser, all right? Okay, and so I'm going to, where are my ghetto gloves? All right, so I'm going to add some onions in here, and then I'm going to get my ghetto gloves. Right, <laughs> my ghetto gloves, honey. We makes it work. We makes it work. That's why in times like these, the people who have the, the least are the ones who can make it the most because we've always been struggling and finding things that we can just make work. All right? So here we go with these ghetto gloves. They working. <laughs> them ghetto gloves working. Ooh, look at them ghetto gloves. Get down in there with them ghetto gloves. Get down in there with them ghetto gloves. Yeah. You want the seasoning to get through and through this. Boy, these ghetto gloves is hard to work with, but I'm working with them. I'm working with them. Okay, so. Hey, why those ghetto gloves is working? You should do something on the grill sometime. My daughter's saying I should do something on the grill. Next time I, I may do something on the grill. All right, come on them ghetto gloves. Come on. All right, so that's enough. I'm gonna have to get another set of my gloves. <laughs> All right, to make the meatballs, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm adding barbecue sauce. I'm also adding brown sugar, just a little. So I'm 
about to mix this and make my meatballs, and I will be back with you all, all right? All right, so I've rolled my meatballs. I rolled them really big because that's how I want them, you know, you, you shouldn't have to have more than two of these <laughs> to fill you up, all right? So I'm about, I have my skillet. It's all hot, and I am about to place the meatballs in. until they're done all right they don't have to be done all the way through because remember they still have to cook with the other uh when I, when I put the sauce and everything on there all right so it doesn't have to be cooked all the way through and you want it to be juicy anyway all right okay I'll be back I'm about to uh add these noodles to this boiling water I've already added salt and oil so they don't stick and so they're not so um so plain all right, you want the, the salt to cook in the noodles. Okay, I'm about to add my shrimp to my skillet. Along with baby corn. Just a little bit before I add my vegetables. I think I may do a mukbang with these baby corn. doing exactly what I want it to do. I want it to just get a little hard, I guess. All right, and I'm about to add some more vegetables. All right, I have my, I'm gonna turn the heat down. I have it on eight just to get that, that nice color there. And now what I'm about to do, I'm gonna some more vegetables like I see it. And here I'm about to add green onion, which some people call scallions. Just a little bit of onion. Okay. 
I have some orange bell peppers. I have some red bell peppers. I have green bell peppers. I have garlic. And I have some chives. Then I'm going to give this a stir. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to put the um, meatballs in this stir fry. And then I'm going to add a sweet and tangy sauce to this. This is not a spaghetti. Um, I'm just going to lightly uh, put some um, spaghetti sauce on the noodles, but this is mostly just uh, my meatballs and my stir, stir fry and flavor, just flavor, just full flavor. You all have to try this. You are going to love it. To add the uh, sweet and tangy sauce to this and this is uh, a little bit spicy but it's not a lot of spice it's just enough to give it a little kick even a child can eat it so it's not that spicy Okay, so here we are. Let's stir that in here a little bit to get that sweet and tangy sauce on those vegetables. All right. I don't want to overcook my vegetables. I want them to have a little crunch to them, all right? I'm just going to let that cook down just a little bit more. And I'll be back. Okay, so like I was saying, this is not a spaghetti, um, but I am going to add just a little bit of spaghetti sauce, all right? Just one small thing of spaghetti sauce in the pot. All right, so like I said, I added just a little spaghetti sauce. I added some more seasoning to my noodles, all right? Not too much because the seasoning is already in the stir fry over here in my meatballs. And I'm about to pour this in very carefully. So I'm about to pour in my meatballs, stir fry. Very carefully, be careful, this is very hot. Okay, and now I'm just going to give this a stir. This is so full of flavor. I can't wait for you all to try this and give me your uh, your opinions. This is going to be one of your favorites and it's gonna be one of your regulars. I, I, I'm i pretty sure, sure of that. All right, so I'm about to plate this up and I'll be back with my presentation. Hold on, I'll be back. This is my meatball Alfredo fettuccine. This is an original dish of mine. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And press that post notification bell so that each time I post a new video, you will be notified. Honey child, let me tell you something. Mm.
Mm-mm. This is mm, mm, good. Thank you all for watching, and please don't forget to invite a friend to my channel.